Tell us about since you're on the since we're talking about stories. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the one I think again in front of a class in yeah. Oregon mm. um, when you hit it dead on, uh, but there was an earlobe in the way because you were doing yes. Was it large blacks maybe? Well, or? it was. I actually had a um, I newly purchased my 22 WMR. Okay. So I had undue confidence in its ballistic capacity. Okay. And fortunately in that class, I had a retired uh, investigator who was attending the class. Ballistics. Whose particular right. specialty was internal ballistics. Okay. That's why I know I overestimated <laughs> the ballistic capacity <laughs> of my 22 WMR. Uh-huh. And uh, there are pigs that have lop ears. So... Old spots, large blacks, and crosses, you know, thereof, well, sometimes the ears will be loppy, which means they hang down over your target, sometimes precisely to an annoyingly precise, perfect degree, they cover your target. <laughs> um, and uh, I thought with my, tub- with my 22 WMR that I could shoot right through them floppy little cartilaginous ears, no problem. <laughs> Bullets go through nope. things, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was my assumption, which is wrong. <laughs> Um, <laughs> bullets seek the path of least resistance, like all the things in a physical universe. <laughs> okay. And, uh, as far as I know. Uh-huh. And so it was immediately, you know, it's sapped of its velocity and misdirected right when it goes through the air and it was bad news. And so mm-hmm. that pig took another shot. Um, so don't shoot through the air. And, but what would, what should you do? Let's say. If you do have a pig with lop ears, Mm -hmm. well, the strategy I have utilized is to, uh, you have to elevate the head. And sometimes all that means is like making a mountain of some kind, Mm. a little mound, sometimes a compost pile right in there with the pigs or putting the water cinder blocks, putting the the water basin upside down, put food on top of it. I do that a lot. Actually, I turn food bowls upside down and Uh I put food on top. So water, that the right? yeah, so that Usually. the feed or water is elevated, which thereby elevates the head. Yeah, kind of uh, like and that will little. part the ears. That yeah. slight change in angle will part the ears. Also, it makes your trajectory a little easier. Mm-hmm.